event fire! So here's a simple little tutorial on how I've acquired my smoke effects. You can see that how it looks in reality. You've got smoke coming out of the lock and out of the barrel. I use little fasteners that come with sandwich bags to make the supports for the smoke. Remove one end using some scissors so it's just bare wire. This will be fastened to the muzzle of the rifle or the musket. And then neaten it up a little bit, which it's not that important. There's going to be tape going over the the length of the fastener anyway, and it's going to be covered in cornwall, so don't worry too much about getting that right. I use double-sided tape simply because it's quick, easy, um, a lot cleaner than glue, very straightforward. You don't have to be neat with it, just get it on, just so that there's an adhesive covering on the wire. The smoke itself is made from the make these makeup removal pad thingies. I don't know what they're called, but they're cotton wool essentially. So scrape it all off and put, press it into a ball. It's probably the best way to do it. Give it as much of a smoky look as you can. You can always manipulate it and play around with it as you go. That's the wonder of it. You know, there's not. Nothing's fixed, you can change it and alter it. So you, with the big, the big lump that you've made, you want that to go at the end of the rod so that it depicts the, the smoke pluming out from the shot. So affix that piece to the end, wrap it around, make sure all the tape's covered. Um, spread just spread the the fibers so that they attach to the adhesive of the tape. The next part is doing the the thinner spout of smoke. So it's the same thing essentially. Just put the tape on. Nothing complicated, as I'm sure you've guessed. Wrap the tape round. Compress it. When I made this one. I left the, the wire bare at the end. That's how I was doing it at the time. Subsequent ones that I did, I I just covered the end because it gave more of a cushioning on the um, on the wire, which is probably better for protecting the paint at the end of the, the, the musket. And then it was just a case of wrapping, um, unraveling the strands onto the tape into a thinner in a stretch as you can see the tauter the better really just to give it that initial uh, slim spout of smoke if it's just coming out the barrel and then smooth it over push the fibers down the more you the more you play around with it the, the more effective you can make it look and get it to, to your specifications and cut off any rogue fibers and then it's a case of just very gently, very carefully, making sure you don't damage anything, you don't chip anything. Watching out for the ramrods, which are on some of the figures, they're very delicate, so do be really careful. And just very lightly wrap around the, the wire so that it just holds, it doesn't have to be solid. You just want it there delicately in place so that it creates the illusion that it's coming directly out of the barrel. You don't want it drooping. You want it to have that continuity. And there's a line of soldiers that are, that are pre-done. The next part is doing the, the smoking out of the lock. It's the same thing, of course, just cover a, a small amount of wire and uh, maybe also change the shape a little bit so it's more of a tiny mushroom cloud. And again, leaving that bit of wire off at the bottom, that is what you'll curl around the stock just to attach it. Do it again very gently and just get it on there just so it sits it sits looking re realistic and to how you desire it to look. 
and that's that's all of it really. I think it is quite effective. You can't have a Napoleonic battle scene without smoke. It just doesn't make any sense. So the Napoleonic wars were completely covered in the fog of war. <laughs>